And as we all work together to rebound from the COVID-19 pandemic, the hard work of several local agencies can be found on a plate of Venezuelan food. Our Colette Bordelon takes us to the southeastern part of the Springs tonight. We're saving a restaurant means saving some culture in our city as well. Brand new restaurant rent to pay and pandemic shutdowns almost off the bat had one restaurant thinking this could be the end. But it turns out all they needed was a little help finding some more local supports. The sound of a sizzle needs no translation. In this family business, El Taco y la Arepa. They had a huge following when they owned the food truck. Owner Maria de los Angeles is from Venezuela and just opened this location in December. Three months into their new business, the pandemic hit and uh, they began researching for resources or help that they could obtain. One resource, Ramon Alvarez, a consultant with the Small Business Development Center who's also helping me translate. It's rewarding beyond words. He's one of several people who have helped. Fourth time I emailed her, she wrote me completely back in Spanish. And so I realized we had a language barrier. Laura Newman volunteers with Survive and Thrive, a group dedicated to helping small businesses during the pandemic. They did not truly understand how to complete the paperwork. They made sure the restaurant got their paperwork in order and then thousands of dollars from Survive and Thrive. They were concerned because they were getting behind on rent. Uh, and they didn't want to get evicted. While pro bono legal counsel, also from SBDC, worked out an agreement with the property owner. Recipes that have been passed on from generation to generation can't be easily duplicated. This food tells a story of survival and support. Throughout Colorado, small businesses employ over half of the private workforce. Our local SBDC has helped around 600 so far this year. If you need any assistance, give them a call at that number at the bottom of your screen or reach out to them online. Always watching out for you, El Paso County. Colette Bordelon, News 5.